Hey, people. Oh, it's recording. I hate my hair this way. Makes my head look like it got squeezed by a thigh master. <laughs> <laughs> and accentuates my double chin. Oh, well. Today, we're accepting calls on our hotline. <laughs> yeah. 1 800 K Lex. No. 1 800 <laughs> Savenstein. Savannah Stein. Come on, stupids. It's not that hard to pronounce, really. Sounds it out. Savan Steen. Steen. Oh, we got a call! We got a call already. Here, put it on speakerphone. Hello? Hello, caller number one. Hey, hello. Who do we have calling today? You know what? I'm not some schmo here. I didn't say you were. Who is this? Dr. Phil. Oh, hey, Dr. Phil. Why are you calling today? just wanted to call and remind you, you don't matter. <laughs> um, excuse me? Yeah? Get over it. Yes, we do matter. That's a load of crap. Dr. Phil, why are you such a hater these days? You're a bitch. Uh, what? Why? Now, let me just be honest with you. I'm a drunk pimp. No, you're not. You're a fake doctor who tries to tell other people what to do and you're old and fat and bald. Do you judge the rest of us, the non-beautiful people? Well, yeah. You're bald, rotten bitch. I have been, for a long time, a rotten little bitch. That's what she said. Tell me what's attractive to you. Well, we like boys that are tall and have nice hair. Why are you so hair-triggered? It's important to have good hair. Does it seem superficial to you that you're so focused on how you look? No. Well, some days, yeah. Are you taking medication? Yeah, but that's none of your business. Are you feeling good? Yeah, pretty good. Do you agree that you smoke pot? What? I didn't say I was high. How about when this is over, we go do a little coke? <laughs> Are you crazy? What did I do? Are you nuts? Dr. Phil, you've really been acting weird lately. I mean, you must be really desperate for publicity because I saw what you did to Britney Spears. And That's not what we're talking about. Now we are. Are you like a stalker or something? No, we watch the news. Do you torture small animals? Of course not. I'm a vegetarian. This is an eat what you kill world. If, if, you, if you don't kill something, you just don't go eat what he killed. I don't need what anyone killed. Quit taking yourself so damn seriously. I don't. Haven't you been watching our videos, Dr. Phil? Yeah. You know, I didn't just come in on a load of turnips. I know that. Hey, then why do you hate us so much? You gotta grow up. And I want you to start having a gay relationship. What? What? He <laughs> who yells loudest and last ain't right. No. He who says ain't isn't right. Whatever. Are you avoiding reality? No, we're not lesbos, Dr. Phil. Um, that's okay. <laughs> okay, well, do you have any other advice for us today, Dr. Phil? Maybe. What is it? You gotta lighten up a little bit to get along in this world. And I, I really do want you to consider one more thing. And that is, I want you to really, really, really search your heart and try to forgive yourself for everything that has transpired thus far. Okay, well, thanks for calling today, Dr. Phil. It's nice to know you care. I don't care about you. Nobody really cares. I think this conversation's over. Quit being mad at me and just love me again. Goodbye, Dr. Phil. Whatever. <laughs> what an asshole. Seriously. I know he hated us so much. Yeah. Oh. Mm. I remember. It's not our fault you're not a real doctor. Yeah. Fake ass. Anyways. We should um, go warm up the rest of the yakisoba because we have nothing else to do. We're going to go and, I don't know, jump in a pool because it's sauna in here <laughs> <laughs> and go finish our dinner and maybe 
eat some Valentine's Day cookies. Bye, y'all!